Aleem wins one loss and two losses. Matt Korobov. See right off the bat, you know, I've watched film on Aleem. Oh, that's what Korobov, counter puncher. He's got tons of experience. And he threw some great punch strong in, in that fight. That tough loss, a unanimous decision. Oh, well, Korobov, he, he, he does. I'm a seal, I thought the so I don't think that, uh, boxing in his lifetime. Around Charlo, but they censure you and make a fight happen. Be in tune with... Lennox Lewis in round one. Oh, He's yeah. Gone. Korobov is another one. Good body punch. Oh, you but he's accurate. Hey, Aleem is a guy who's landed. You gotta remember, Korobov, and it's a, it's a, it takes you a few rounds. Yeah, I asked him, what was he doing in that? And, um, you know, that's the main ring rust, but uh, not that much. The best place to be. You know, his trainer, George, here, we are, of course. And, and right hand your punches is Korobov. He yes. landed a right hook earlier. To show me the real aggressive style that I'm used to seeing. That kind of, you know, lower to open up the head. For, for Aleem to come in so he can experience so he knows how to hey, I know the kids are at home wondering if Richmond is where Emmanuel Aleem is from in that ninth dimension sports circle in South Richmond that they established in 2000 Aleem against the ropes won the first two rounds and the way he's running into Cor Cor Korobov yep and only loss on his record to focus more Ooh. shot to the body right now but he's got to get his hands back quick and counter punching him. Yep. He is. Bottom line is, it's also good to cross the board nearly two to one punches. The advantage. See, so just home counter with a good left hook off of the left uppercut. Got to take chances. And on Aleem. Oh, there's a couple. He held and used the other hand by the referee for a low blow. I thought it was borderline. Aleem comes in. He's got to be careful when he rushes in like that because he may get caught. So he can't rush in recklessly. Let's go to box corner with Trent. What did you tell Matt coming into this round? Uh, I, I need him to keep him outside. Jab, that's a, that's a little key word. If you get hit with a punch, wherever it is, it's a knockdown. And here it is. And that's, okay. yeah, that's still a... Because Ali missed a punch. Orobov landed to the... Now you see, ooh, pushing down on the... With a punch, he's a... Why not? Very powerful right now. Again, Larry Hazerbar. Larry? So far, Chris, I got this Ooh. fight 30 years. Karlov is taking him to school. Look, it's, it's rough enough fighting softball. So I'm, and he's hitting with those powerful left hands. He's doing well, but Aleem's coming back. He's doing the right thing. On the inside if he doesn't have to. He's looking for stuff like damage in close. See, this is... Thank you so much. Next to you say, this is the start of the fifth round. This is when we get things going. What did you tell Emmanuel? Keep running right there. Yeah. Make it look up. He force it, man. So what he needs, and he's making a lot of mistakes to take advantage. All right, Joe is a trainer. How do you, how do you tell your guy to take advantage? Korobov, you'll see. Referee should actually guys and, and, and Joe, when we, when we sat with these two, Peterson said that one of the You said to me that lost ground. But will allow you to bum rush him and just hit him with shots on the ends. Hopefully he's going to break through the uh, the effing like to be on the ropes. Aleem needs to put him up. Aleem has closed halfway through this fight. That looked like an 11-year difference in terms of age. Coins. Enjoying the fight. Great right hands of all the here with the great left hooks of all the time. Yeah, he, oh, yeah. Was, he was talking. I talked to him before the bout talking about Korobov and, and his... Real, the only advantage here, I mean, the body shot. I want Aleem to get any free seconds. And then he lands. Aleem with a left uppercut by Karba. Yeah, that's going hit you with any hand and hurt you. Any offensive moves. Oh, looking, and it, Karba just senses it. Each other. Trying to get a breath of fresh air. Advantage coming in. So, I mean, it's... It, Aleem stood up to it, and he's coming here. 14 knockouts. Aleem is 18-1-1. Uh, one one. He's... He's... <laughs> Staggered by Korobov. That, that left. Club, okay? And here, yeah, well, here you Another go. Another left. That was the left uppercut and then the left down. Here's the chopping right hook. Wow. Now that wasn't that wasn't what really hurt him. It's that left hand that was really doing the damage. Korobov to lock him up. Just got clipped with an upper punch. Man, Larry Hazard, our unofficial score. I don't know that you can give any of these rounds to him. And let's see what this. Korobov is get out of here. This in his corner. But he right hand, which is the 60 to 53. Well, I say he's not the strong with both hands. Right on cue when we showed a baseball put on giving every round the way he sees it. His wife. 
Really, he's been throwing him in landing all night long, including because Korobov is really looking to counter him. To learn the discipline of the sport. And here, finishing up a little bit more on a lead. Trying to use to rally against Matt Koroba. And he leaves himself so open for that. Got to really land something solid. And brawl, just like the round right now. And, and Joe, yeah. uh, Aleem doesn't... That baby, you're making this close. Act hasn't reached the eighth round in his last Lennox. Uh, Aleem has thrown more punches, but he's landed so many fewer than Koroba. Oh, that landed as well by Koroba. Left up Tim's, but they don't have... They're not the oh. level of Koroba. And he's got him on the rope. But he can't do enough damage. Here you see a Korobov uppercut. He's known for that. And here's another one. This, and you see the opening. You take it. Remember, George Peterson. Yeah, here we go. Just towards the end of the round here. There's that little right height. So he's getting to him a little. Then we can almost do what we want with him. But the later rounds are too. He needs to do something. Go for it. Well, he would have loved to have come on earlier. It's just that Korobov. Great defense. Well, a technique was su uh, successful without oh. right. successful. Well, and still here, Emmanuel's mom hollering. She knows her thing. It's the last one of about six punches that landed in that series right there. And, and Aleem just can't stand there and walk in there. He's got not even that. When Korobov stops punching, that's when he needs to punch. Oh, Korobov, oh, he's, he's dead. It's, it's, Looks like he's tired, but look, right there, he just made a dip, that right uppercut again. He'll come out of there with, this is where, look, Aleem wants him right here. If he's going to land a big shot, this is where it's going to happen. But he's got to let his hands go he's more, hard. He's more throwing. Unofficially, our score. Oh, oh. And Aleem, after taking the there last round. There it is, look, yep. Well, he's listening to his coach. Every time Aleem's done something, Korobov has been able to respond. Yeah. He's, he's a counter puncher deluxe. Look at that right there. Shit. Yeah, here's a combination by Aline. This is what he needs to do. That was a nice little left hook right off the chin. Sure. Yeah. The final round. Yeah, it's his last chance. And wrong. This is this is where your corner says, give me three minutes. Let's fight. Well, yeah, and it actually lost legs kind of were wobbly on him right there. Yeah, there were a few occasions, uh -huh. Joe, when the ref should warn him. Oh, good what right a... hand. Korobov is like a rock stand. Nice. But I'll tell you, this is the type of fight Aline wishes he had. Probably had a couple more rounds to work. Hello, another title shot. He thought he won that fight, and he didn't want to leave this oh, one a chance. Oh, good right. Really good right hand.